Thank you. The question is that Amendment 5144.1, in the name of Stephen Kerr, which seeks to amend Motion 5144, in the name of George Adam, on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, setting out a business programme, be agreed, and members should cast their votes now. The vote is now closed. Point of order, Marie McNair. Sorry, President Officer. Sorry, President Officer, my uh, app froze out. The voted no. Thank you, Ms McNair. We'll ensure that's recorded. Point of order, Keith Brown. A sign for my uh, app is now saying there was a problem, so I don't know whether I lodged my vote or not, but I would have voted no. Okay. I can confirm that your vote was recorded, Mr Brown. Point of order, Sarah Boyack. Uh, I did attempt to cast my vote, but it says you have not voted. I would have abstained if it had been recorded. That's the button I pressed anyway. Thank you, Ms Boyack. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 5144.1 in the name of Stephen Kerr is yes 28, no 63. There were 20 abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 5144 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau setting out setting out a business programme be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. Point of order, Kenneth Gibson. I did not connect to the digital platform. Thank you, Mr. Gibson. We'll ensure that's recorded.
The result of the vote on motion 5144 in the name of George Adam is yes 64, no 48. There was one abstention. The motion is therefore agreed. The next item of business is consideration of business motion 5145 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau on a stage one timetable. Any member who wishes to speak against the motion should press their request to speak button now. And I call on George Adam to move the motion. And move, presiding officer. Thank you, Minister. No member is asked to speak against the motion, therefore. The question is that motion 5145 be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motion is therefore agreed. And the next item of business is consideration of three Parliamentary Bureau motions. And I ask George Adam, on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau, to move motions 5146 and 5147 on approval of SSI and 5148 on substitution on committees. All of them moved. Thank you. The question on these motions will be put at decision time. And there are eight questions to be put as a result of today's business. The first is the amendment 5106.2 in the name of Tom Arthur, which seeks to amend motion 5106 in the name of Mark Griffin on cost of living support be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. Therefore, we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. I call Neil Bibby for a point of order. I would have voted yes, President Officer. Thank you, Mr Bibby. We'll ensure that's recorded. Oh, point of order, Kate Forbes. I think it might have been uh, registered, but I'm not entirely sure, so I'd have voted yes. I can confirm that your vote was recorded, Ms Forbes. The result of the vote on amendment number 5106.2 in the name of Tom Arthur is yes 86, no 29. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that amendment 5106.1 in the name of Miles Briggs, which seeks to amend motion 5106 in the name of Mark Griffin on cost of living support, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore, we'll move to a vote. And members should cast their votes now.
The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 5106.1 in the name of Miles Briggs is yes 29, no 87. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 5106 in the name of Mark Griffin as amended on cost of living support be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed. Therefore, we will move to a vote. Members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on motion 5106 in the name of Mark Griffin as amended is yes 87, no 29. There were no abstentions. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. The next question is that Amendment 5111.2 in the name of Kevin Stewart, which seeks to amend Motion 5111 in the name of Jackie Bailey on delivering the immediate removal of non-residential social care charges, be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 5111.2 in the name of Kevin Stewart is yes 65, no 51. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore agreed. The next question is that Amendment 5111.1 in the name of Sandesh Gulhani, which seeks to amend Motion 5111 in the name of Jackie Bailey on delivering the immediate removal of non-residential social care charges, be agreed. Are we all agreed? No. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 5111.1 in the name of Sandesh Gulhani is yes 33, no 83. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 5111 in the name of Jackie Bailey as amended on delivering the immediate removal of non-residential social care charges be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we will move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on motion 5111 in the name of Jackie Bailey as amended is yes 65, no 51. There were no abstentions. The motion as amended is therefore agreed. The next question is that motion 5155 in the name of Ben McPherson on Social Security Additional Payments Bill UK legislation be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motion is therefore agreed. And I propose to ask a single question on three parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No members object. Therefore, the final question is that motions 5146 to 5148 in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motions are therefore agreed and that concludes decision time. We'll now move on to members' business.